Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't even met before, hi, my name is Shiv. If you're coming back, then welcome. In this video, I have a big revolution haul for you. We've got skincare, nails, and makeup, of course. So if you would like to see what I picked up from Revolution, and it's a huge haul, let me tell you, then please carry on watching. Before you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video. And I'm just gonna jump straight into the haul. I'm at Revolution kindly sent me a big gift card to spend on their website i'm so thankful thank you so much revolution i love you so much you support influencers from micro to huge mega influencers no matter what size and platform so i really appreciate you and i cannot wait to use all these pieces pieces items of makeup <laughs> and i know i have a blind behind me this is just my zoomed out background so i can actually show you what i've got <laughs> so i'm just gonna i've laid it all out on my desk so i'm just gonna start from first thing I pick up, which is the Tasty Peach by I Heart Revolution Peachy Keen Lip Oil. Um, I saw this and I was like, that would be really nice for working from home because I now have a job working from home in the daytime and then soon to be evening, it's very complicated. And just to like really nourish my lips and add a little bit of like a shine. That is like super pink, but I doubt it will be that color actually on the lips. Ooh interesting like fruity kind of smell but I'm gonna yeah once you swatch it on the hand I don't know if you can see that but I will do a little cutaway for you but it is just clear on the lips I obviously won't put it on now because I have a nude lippy on this tutorial will be up soon I, can't, I don't know the day but it will be up soon so make sure you subscribe if you want to see how to get this makeup look but that looks really nice and I cannot wait to use that I think it'll be really nice to chuck in your handbag for like hydration throughout the day as well the next thing I want to show you is the revolution skincare headband now I have have incredibly long hair <laughs> it's at the moment it's literally past my boobs I need a haircut so badly I haven't had a haircut since March before England went on lockdown and it's just it drives me crazy it gets in my face and everything so I decided to pick up a headband now I don't know how long this will stay white for when I'm like cleansing my face with the cleansing oils take off heavy makeup and everything like that but I also thought this would be really cute for skincare Instagram videos I usually do Instagram videos I've used a lot of revolution skincare products in the past I haven't done any for a while just because I haven't had any like new skincare products to use kind of thing and just life honestly has been crazy I have a lot of stuff going on in the background so just bear with me guys while I try and get my reins on things Again, it's just been a bit of a stressful past couple months. Um, so just deal with me as I process. I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah. So, oh my god, it's so soft. I've just taken it out of the box. This feels like a plush, like, slipper dressing gown. That is so soft. Like, I wish you could feel it through the lens. That is so soft. I would put it on, but I'm just going to get makeup all over it. And I kind of want to keep it white for the first time that I use it on a video. But yeah, I thought that was really cute, actually. It just says revolution across the front, stretchy headband. Put it on when you're taking off your makeup. Or even if you are doing a makeup, depends on how careful you are because it is white. I think they should make these in, like, different colours because they would definitely be really popular. So if you are watching Revolution, I don't know if you are. Are. but if you are I would love to see like a pink one a red one a black one I'd be up for that oh my god it's so soft I actually can't go over it. I didn't expect it to be soft I almost expected it to be like a towel material towel towel material so I'm very impressed with that next we have a skincare item and this I was really excited to try this um as I'm sure most of you know revolution are kind of sort of I guess known for creating like cheaper dupes of higher end products and they do have their own products as well but they do dupe a lot of products and this is a dupe of the ordinary peeling solution which is still cheap anyway but I feel like revolution probably wanted their own version which is fair enough basically a kind of red acid face mask it's not like a serum that you, you would not leave this on your skin it is very powerful I haven't tried the revolution one so I can't tell you right now how I get on with it but I am going to be filming a video with this very soon if I have enough energy tonight I will film so if I have that clip I will insert it for you here if not I will get around to it and I can't get in that I don't want to break my nails but with. so yeah it looks exactly like the ordinary's version so it's just basically a red serum but you don't leave it on do not leave it on. I would leave it on for a maximum of 10 minutes, like maximum. You have to be super careful with it. Don't touch the dropper to your face as well. Basically the acids will literally like almost, I, I like to describe it as eating your dead skin cells. 
I'm not a skincare expert, that's just the way I like to describe it. But this is really, really good at like getting rid of like scars and just even texture, that kind of thing. But yeah, I have used the Ordinary's version like maybe two or three times since I filmed a video with the Ordinary one and I loved it. And I feel like I'm gonna give the Revolution one a go and I will let you know on my thoughts, let you know of my thoughts very soon. Next up, we have a, another skincare product. This is the Revolution Skincare, obviously. Hydration Boost Night Hydrating Cream. Now, I love a good night cream, a really hydrating one. Recently, I've been using retinol to try and sort of clear up my skin, which to be honest, has actually been working. Although I still have like hormonal blemishes, which I always will do and you can't really escape that too much. That's just kind of how my hormones are. It's made them less angry, but it's also made my skin a little bit on the drier side now. So I find that I need a really hydrating cream. This is what it looks like. I've just got it out of the box. I have a smell of it. I don't know if it's supposed to smell. Oh, okay. Oh my God, I'm getting it everywhere. It looks super thick, which I like in a night cream. Okay, it just smells like a fresh cream. I'm gonna put some on my hand. Oh, that's lovely. It feels very cooling, very cooling. But I'm loving how Revolution Skincare, they kind of started out by doing like kind of Instagram worthy face masks, just because it was fun for a video, I guess. They obviously do have skincare ingredient benefits in them, but they are just super Instagram worthy and I love all their face masks. And then they brought out like serums and actual like ingredient focused stuff. So I feel like they're really, really up in their game and they're constantly launching new things, which is amazing. The next thing I got was the <laughs> Revolution SPF 30. Protecting Boost. I keep wanting to say Perfecting Boost, but it's Protecting Boost for normal to dry skin. And I used this the other day when I filmed a tutorial using a Revolution palette. And I actually really like this cream. I felt like it soaked into the skin nicely. It wasn't greasy. It didn't have like a sticky feeling or anything like that. So yeah, I really like this cream. I think this is something that I will go towards when I run out of the day cream that I'm using at the moment. So yeah, now I have a Revolution day cream and a night cream. And it's super important to buy your SPF guys every day, even if you live in England like myself. I also picked up an eye cream. This one I actually really wanted to try when they released their eye creams. This is the Bacuccio Toning Boost eye cream and it literally is purple. Wasn't expecting that but when you rub it in it just kind of illuminates the under eye but it is super cooling. I used this the other day and I really liked it and this will now be the eye cream that I'll be using every day. I obviously have so much skincare from like Instagram videos and that kind of thing so I'm at the moment I'm just really focusing on using one product till it's finished then the next one then the next one so I can get through my skincare. Yeah I really like this. They have a watermelon one like an avocado one a ginseng one so yeah I might try the others as well but so far thumbs up from me just from a few uses. I really like the texture of this and I do love a good eye cream. I also picked up this which I just thought would be super fun. To be honest I mainly got it for Instagram purposes but if it is good I will continue to use it to take off my makeup. It is the makeup removal spray with vitamin E and you spray it 20 to 25 centimeters from your face or spray directly onto a makeup removal pad and it a pad and it will just melt off your makeup. I just thought this could be fun basically. I think obviously if I'm gonna do I think obviously if I'm gonna use it in a video then I'll spray it on my face just for the funs. Yeah, I do feel like it's important to take off your makeup properly before cleansing and everything like that. So I thought I would give that a go. I know Urban Decay have one, but I've not tried theirs, but I'm actually quite excited to use this. Lastly from the skincare section is something that I, again, I'm excited to try. I'm kind of excited to try everything really, but it's the CBD Soft Foam Cleanser. I like everything from their CBD range. The only thing I will say is I prefer the Super Serum as opposed to the normal serum because the super serum like, is a little bit oilier and I don't like things that just soak in too quickly. I want to be able to feel it on my face. That's just personal preference. This is Shea Button, super gentle. It's a cleanser mousse. Give it a smell. It just smells kind of up the other CBD products, so super gentle. I don't know how to describe the smell apart from gentle, but I have not tried this yet, so I will give you an update on my Instagram page when I do the video using all the skincare products, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. Thank you. <laughs> and I will update you on how I get along with this, but I am excited to use this as well. Okay, so that's it for like skin care. I suppose I do have a lip balm. This is the I Heart Revolution Vanilla Vanilla Cake Lip Mask and Balm with Avocado Oil. I already have the Mango Smoothie one and I love it. Although I do find it leaves a slight orange tint and if you're rubbing it around your mouth, it can look a bit weird, but this one is clear and it smells like vanilla cupcakes and I love it. I've already, I don't know if you can see, but kind of dug my 
nail in there and use it the other day and I really like it and I just feel like a good lip balm is always nice to have so to start off I'm just going to grab it in a random order I have this lip crayon which is the velvet kiss lip crayon in the shade heart race which looks like this it's kind of like a pinky nude color just like a go-to for me I used this again the other day and I really liked it I recently used a morphe lip crayon and I loved the feeling of the crayon so I was like I'm gonna try a revolution one and this was definitely a winner for me it was super creamy and hydrating but not sticky or kind of going over my lip line or anything like that so yeah I really like this and this is something that I probably will gravitate towards I also picked up the makeup obsession quick stick base conceal and contour in the shade d02 when I've been looking through our makeup drawers recently I've accumulated a lot of makeup this year I think just because of lockdown and getting addicted to online shopping but I've noticed that I don't have like as much cream contour products as I have everything else and if you're a makeup collector you'll understand where that mentality can come from <laughs> you're like I have like a ton of eyeshadow palettes why do I only have like five cream contours for someone who probably doesn't do as much makeup and stuff like that as I do that would just be a normal amount I guess or but yeah I just wanted to try some more essentially I'm just justifying my cream contour but this is what it looks like here as you can see I have used it the other day this shade here is very warm obviously these can be foundation sticks but for me obviously i need to use a much darker shade to contour but this one was quite warm so it'd be a better cream bronzer than like a contour but i might actually pick up another shade of this just in a cooler tone because i did actually really like the formula it's super creamy really easy to blend into the skin as well doesn't go patchy or doesn't set too quickly so you can't blend it or anything like that and it does remind me actually of the formula of the huda beauty tan tool where it's really easy to blend so yeah big thumbs up from me on that one already then I got something which I've been wanting to try for a while so again this kind of comes from the side of dupes that Revolution do so they duped the Toucher Silk Canvas Primer I think it's called and then the Elf Primer and they made their Pore Perfecting Primer which basically just looks it looks like if anyone who is watching has done special effects makeup it looks like scar wax <laughs> that's how I would describe it and you basically just scoop it off and then like massage it into your skin and it smooths out your pores but I did use this the other day I liked it and I will use it again for sure. It's quite a fun product to use as well because it looks like wax. So yeah, I really like that. I know that their other brand, Makeup Obsession, also have one of these. But these kind of primers are actually becoming really popular at the moment. I believe they've just brought out a hydrating one as well. But yeah, I picked up this primer. Then I picked up a foundation. All of my other Revolution foundations are in much lighter shades. For some reason, when I buy Revolution foundations, I buy them for like my own skin tone not like my tanner skin tone if you know what I mean so I figured I'd get a CC cream because this was really intriguing me the CC perfecting foundation SPF 30 and I got the shade F8 and it's actually a pretty good match for my color that I go when I fake tan which is a light tan basically but yeah I I like this it's incredibly dewy so if you're someone who's very oily you might not like this but I really like it now my skin is more on the drier side of things so yeah I thought that was really nice and I think if I keep using this and find I like it I might pick it up in a few more shades because this is something that I feel like will be really easy just to buff on with a brush before you go to work or you're running errands or something like that and you just want a kind of a base there that is quite easy to apply so I'm a big fan of that and it comes with a squeezy applicator or it looks like it will be like a like a squeeze it comes with a pump basically is what i was attempting to say there then i picked up a highlighter actually weirdly enough i've wanted to try this specific highlighter for ages this is the golden lights highlighter reloaded highlighter and i remember when revolution was like really popping off this was the highlighter that everyone would buy but it is repackaged i think and it's basically like a baked looking highlighter so you know when it comes out of the pan white goldy kind of reflex it's absolutely gorgeous really really stunning i'm just gonna swatch that for you on my hand like yeah you can see that i can see that in the thumbnail so gorgeous so yeah i picked that up and i've always always been a fan of revolution highlighters i think they're so so good then here's another product that i've wanted to try for so long now this is the revolution soap brows it's just one color and this is what i wanted to talk about so i use this as you can kind of tell because it's not brand new in my video when i filmed with the palette that i will show you shortly and i did actually really like it i thought the brush that it comes with is actually even quite good as well i didn't think i'd ever use the brush that comes with the product but it is actually really nice the only thing i will say is i've had these revolution bits for maybe two or three weeks and just with everything going on in my life at the moment i haven't had 
time, energy, everything like that to film. So I don't know how, but I believe it melted like on the side of it because when I opened it, the actual bit of soap that comes in the pan was stuck to the mirror. It was easy to get off and just plop back in, but I'm just gonna make sure I keep it upright. So just something to bear in mind because obviously of the formula of the product, just make sure it's not in a place where it's gonna get super hot because it will melt. So just bear that in mind. But you can still use it, it just makes it a bit messy. Then I got a face powder and my mistake on the website, I picked one that was way too light. So this will be an under the eye kind of setting powder for me. It is super, super pale. This is in the shade beige, which surprises me because usually beige, I feel like it's like a medium color. I don't know. But yeah, I picked that up. This is the CC Perfecting Pressed Powder. I do really like the formula of this actually. And I did use it under my eyes, not today, but in another video. And I did really like it. I thought it was super brightening. So I might pick this up in a darker shade to use as my actual face powder. I do, I love the packaging though. I love how it's kind of similar to the color inside. I think, I think that's how it works. So like the darker it is, the darker this is. I might have to double check that on the website, but if I remember rightly when looking, that's how I saw it. But it's got this like textured print on the front as well. And like nice like gold shiny packaging. The Revolution Pro products are definitely more of like a premium consistency, like the packaging and everything like that. But yeah, I picked that up and I'll be using that as like an under eye powder. I'm gonna show you the palette that I've been talking about. So I've already filmed a tutorial with this. To clarify again, it's not the one I obviously have on my eyes, but this is the Spirituality palette. If you know me, is essentially made for me. So this is the Forever Flawless Namaste with Cannabis Sativa, but it's called the Spirituality Palette on the website. But the packaging, first off, definitely a bit of me. The purple with like the, um, I forget what that print is called, but that kind of print that you have on the fabric. Anyway, this is what it looks like inside because that's obviously the most important. So you've got some purpley orange warm tones. So this has me written all over it. And I used it the other day and I absolutely loved it. And like on all of the matte shades, you have a little lotus flower engraved into the pan, which I think is such a sweet little touch. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I've tried some of the Forever Flawless palettes before and I loved them. So I was super excited to try this and definitely suits my aesthetic. Next up, I got a blush palette. This is the Flamingo Blush palette. I don't know if this is in a certain shade because I can't see it on the box but this is what it looks like. Do you have a super hot pink just like a medium pink and then like a very neutral pink but I do love a bit of blush nowadays and I go a little bit heavy with the blush I just really like the way it looks. I picked that up. I haven't tried a new Revolution blush in ages and I love my rhubarb and custard when I use it all the time so I figured I would venture out. I believe that I used that shade my other tutorial but you'll have to watch it to find out but yeah i thought this was super cute and the packaging is really nice as well it's just in the kind of like tin design with some kind of stripiness on top of it i don't know how to describe it but i think that was super cute then i picked up this bronzer this is the spendor ultra matte bronzer in the shade light and this is glow on the top of it and it kind of reminds me of charlotte tilbury with like the stripes that go to the inner section i can't show you but that's my hello bit of inception for you it's massive like it co covers my whole hand and that's what the bronzer looks like on the inside it is super cool toned and I will say, just as a little teaser for the video, this is not my favourite product. I don't think it's terrible, but it's just not my favourite. I might have to try it out a few more times, but I don't know. I think this is really nice. I think it's definitely more of a cool tone. It could be quite good for contour, actually, now I think about it. Yeah. Yeah. That could be a good contour shade. Okay, we will not get rid of you or not, you know, turn you down just yet. We will use this as a contour. I'm gonna have a look as well to see if they have any like warmer shades. I got two palettes from Makeup Obsession. They had the kind of monotone color palette. So I got the Sweet Like Candy and then the Keep It Fresh palette. So a purple one and a mint one. I wanted to try the Huda Beauty ones for ages, but obviously they're much more expensive than the Revolution ones. So when I kindly got received the gift voucher, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try the Makeup Obsession kind of dupes for them and then see how they are with those. So we have the Keep It Fresh Shadow Palette, which looks like, oh my God, it's so tiny and cute. So I'm gonna obviously show you to the camera and closer up so you can see, but that is so cute. The pan sizes are really small, but I feel like we can make it work. And I will be doing separate videos on both of these palettes on my channel coming very soon. I'm actually really liking this palette. It is so tiny. But then I think to myself, do I ever actually finish an eyeshadow palette? No, so it's fine. But yeah, I can definitely get a look out of that. You've got two matte shades 
Oh, that one looks like it has a little bit of shimmer. That one looks matte to me. So you have like a darker green matte, you have like an inner corner highlight shade, a lighter green, some pretty teal colours. I think this is really pretty and when I opened it I was like, oh, <laughs> So cute. It does have a mirror in it as well actually, so it could be like a good palette to do like your makeup on the train while you've got your mask on, make your eyes look nice and annoy all of the people that get annoyed by that type of thing. Yeah, I think that's so cute. Let's have a look at the purple one. So this is the Sweet Like Candy palette. Oh! it's just so cute like it's just so tiny the shade toffee apple which is the matte one is stunning like it's really really bright and vivid so i hope it looks that bright and vivid on the eyes as well that is just so cute so you have two little mini palettes and i'll show you them right here look how cute they are oh i just think they're just the sweetest little palettes Am I just being really over the top? But I think they're really cute and I cannot wait to use these. I will have separate tutorials for each palette coming very soon. I also got some nail bits because during lockdown I wasn't having my nails done. This is the first time I've had my nails done in ages, hence why they're so long. Because I was like, give me long nails because I haven't had nails in ages, so let's just go big. But I picked up some nail polish mainly just for my toes. I got a white shade or an off-white. This is in the shade Ghost, which is the Revolution High Gloss Nail Polish with Avocado Oil. I don't know what that purpose would do in a nail polish but I used this on my toes just because I thought it would be really nice and kind of fresh looking <laughs> but yeah it was quite good I did have to apply a few coats but very good and I like the packaging I think it looks kind of very chic and I also picked up the Revolution Speed and Shine top coat just because I was in desperate need of a top coat and I used it the other day and it's actually really good and I definitely noticed that with like a coat and a half of this almost it really held up the color payoff and like any chipping stopping on my nails if that makes any sense so yeah pick these up i do actually think i might buy another revolution nail polish like maybe like a pink color or something because it's actually quite a nice formula and the bottles are really cute so i've got one more thing this is the revolution shimmer bomb in the shade starlight this is my finishing product and i used this the other day and i loved it this i think is like a dupe of the fenty gloss bombs and it smells oh my god amazing like that fake peach smell i love it so if you're not one for fragrance then you won't like it i mean it's not really strong but you do smell it i'm gonna pop some on now oh it's so nice it's just a little bit of that and i just feel like it's the perfect shimmery lip gloss where it's not too much it's not sticky yeah i love this i have tried the revolution pout bomb formula and i really like that which tingles a teeny little bit if i remember rightly this one doesn't tingle but it's got vitamin e in it and it's got shimmer and i think it's absolutely gorgeous this one is like an orangey peach kind of color but i love this I love it, I love it, I love it. And that is now everything from my huge revolution haul. I'm all stuck up, stocked up on skincare, on makeup and nails. So everything is all good. And if you do want to kind of follow up on how I found the products, check out my tutorial, which will be coming to my channel very soon on the spirituality palette i'll be doing videos on both of the makeup obsession palettes very soon so make sure you subscribe head over to my instagram if you want to see me using the skincare products and i always write kind of like a brief summary in the caption of how i got along with them if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted when i upload a new video i'd really appreciate it thank you so much for watching i shall see you next time bye